catching up with Kelly Mitchley ahead of races on Friday here in the Eastern Cape. And the yard get underway with two runners in race one. Duke Orsino is going to be racing freshened up and he'll be joined by Mr. Speaker. Now he's a two-year-old taking on older, but he really should enjoy the step up to 1400. Morning Nadine, yes, um, Drew Cosino, he needs to show some improvement as we are trying to freshen him up and just want to see him improve in the race. And Mr Speaker, do really give him a big chance in the race, he's been working very well. Okay. If he does go in the pens, because he is a bit hard behind the pens and difficult, but if he gets in the pens, I think he will make him a big runner. Another two runners in race two where we will see Sankofa who's been earning checks of recent alongside Million Reasons who's another who is a two-year-old taking on older but she was a good second over track and trip last time out. Sankofa she's coming on left and bound so I do think she wins a 1600 but there is only now 14 coming up for her and then three weeks later there's a nice race coming up for her so this is will just be a nice prep run for her for a race coming up. Million Reasons I think she's got one or two to beat in the race that horse of Griffiths that is got the cape form I think that's a decent runner so I, I would give her a place chance in this race. In race three we'll see Millennium Dancer now she's been showing improvement with each run of recent. Lillian Dancer, she's come on a lot from her cape form, not being so great to coming here. She's had three-fourths. She hasn't put a foot wrong with us, but she has been improving every start and can expect more improvement from her. I think she'll run a very good race. I think she's just got the one straight on horse to beat in the race. Popping up on cue is Smokas Board. We'll see him in action in race five, where he will be trying at the poly for the first time. He'll be joined by Jewel Cat, who will enjoy pole position draw. Smokes will try and quality for the first time and we're putting blinkers on him. He's been putting up very good work at home. Just hoping to see some improvement from him. Jewel Cat, great run last time in very strong company with his low merit rating. But expecting also similar efforts from him. In race six, Sea of Tears runs. Now a very, very encouraging post-maiden effort from her last time out. Sea of Tears... Uh, only factor with her is the bad draw. If she had a better draw, I'd say she'd be right there on top of them. But she needs to overcome the bad draw on the poly and then we can see more of her. In race seven, we'll see Fujisan. Now he's in steady form and he'll be joined by Godfather, who'll be making his local debut. Fujisan lost him out. He was uh, again stronger company. Now back in his own class, I think he will be a decent runner in this race. And Godfather, first run for the yard, he doesn't show too much at home. So not too sure what to expect from him, but he is well and he's fit. So hoping he can run, run into the places. And in race eight, the yard will close with two runners. Hawk Circle, who's holding steady form. <laughs> and Maldano, who possibly needed his last. It was his first run after the gelding. Maldano definitely needed his last start. He might just be in need of the start. Maybe his third run would be a better start for him. But he is coming on from after his gelding and Hawk Circle, he's in good form. He's working very well at home. I think he'll be a massive runner in this race. Some great feedback there from Kelly. The yard's in good form. We appreciate the breakdown and we'll look forward to watching them on Friday.